skin is pale. I worry that he's not eating. <laughs>now what we do is we wave do waving it. we practice it wave it. Oh, Alex is ready. let's go <laughs> Hard. oh Alex you want to come in you have to request oh okay fine yeah Alex if you come in you decide what song I sing next Alex what do you want hey Alex tell people to buy a ticket to brother who done it Alex, which song should I sing? Is this upsetting? I wanted it to be upsetting if I just kind of was just like... It is, but I was playing into the bit. I was playing into it. I bet it's upsetting that everyone out there. Oh, okay. You know? Yeah. Hey. Hey, Andrew. Uh, people should go buy tickets to Broadway. Yeah, it, right? everyone buy tickets. I'm growing a mustache out for this. <laughs> oh, for this? <laughs> Here, do you uh, want to pick preview? Brooke, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Brooke, for buying a ticket. Yeah, I want to preview. Oh, is this Wally? <laughs> this is great. It's part of it. It's part of it. Um, wow. This is Alex Boniello, aka Hello, Noodle, hey. aka Bonnie. He's eating noodles. I aka, guess that's yeah, he's eating he's noodles. We call him Noodle because he's kind of noodly. Aka the voice of Moritz. It's me. Hello. Alex was cast through Twitter, yep. <laughs> like truly. Yep. So have a good Twitter account, kids at home, if you're hoping <laughs> yeah. to get cast in a Broadway show, because it can be the difference between getting cast and not getting cast. I guess so. And Alex um, is a fellow gamer. Yeah. Him and I both play games. What are you playing during tech week to um, keep yourself sane and occupied? Well, right now, I'm gonna, I want to make sure I get the names right so that I don't. So I, I downloaded Lumosity. Which is like one of those things that like trains your brain. Right, it's like supposed to be good for you, kind of? I don't know. Sean was talking about it. Um, I play a lot of Hearthstone, Heroes of Warcraft. It's we like love a, Hearthstone, yes. Like a card game type thing. And then today Andy made me download Pokemon, what is it, Puzzle? What is it? Shuffle. Pokemon Shuffle. Get it's, it right. It's, well, it's basically just Bejeweled, <laughs> but with Pokemon, so I, I don't really know if um, this is going to... I don't appreciate your tone. Just I don't know if this is going to ca yeah. catch. I've got this cool game that my cat plays. The cat yeah, plays? Yeah, it's called Catfishing. What? I currently hold the high score, which I guess is not fair. No, I've heard of catfishing in the modern age, but this is yeah, you just, something else. You know, so I guess oh. I, ideally it's hard for a cat because they're stupid because they're cats, right? Right. But they're like, whoa. So that score, oh. Go get your food. So that score of uh, 860, that's me. That's not actually my cat. So. so you play a game that's literally meant for animals to play, and you're proud of your high score, isn't it? <laughs> it's a good score. <laughs> Welcome to Alex Boniello, everyone. I want to give give my cat something to strive for. Well, Godspeed. Thanks for talking to us. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Day he does, then I'd be a vampire. Jeremy. How's your sign language coming along? It's all right. It's, it's fine. <laughs> it's okay. Um, no, but it's, it's, I would say that I'm conversational. Um, certainly not fluent. Uh, a lot of times I'll have to ask Daniel for show me a sign or something like that. I'll, I'll very frequently uh, do some weird hybrid of like actual signs, charading, because I don't know what else to do, and then like, finger spelling and then asking for a sign and then he'll show me a sign. I'll do it back and then immediately forget it three seconds later. Yeah. Which is the goal not to do, but it's it's a, a very complex language and it's tough. Yeah. It's Alex Bunny. <laughs> oh, it's happening right now. Wow. What a glamorous introduction. It was a prank. Thank you for buying a ticket. Did I ever tell you that?
before before it became an actual musical i used to sing uh i used to sing the best day ever from spongebob except i would when i would say the song i would say buy spongebob squarepants and it made people <laughs> laugh every single time here with alex hey louise boniello <laughs> what's the new girl's name every time <laughs> okay We've just finished the show. I thought it was a really good one. It was a good one. The audience seemed to really like it. Mm -hmm. Hey, hopefully that, that good show um, cheered you up after a series of unfortunate events that have plagued yeah. your New York life. Yeah. I've Why don't you walk us through it? Well, I first want to say that it's... I've been living here for a while. Like, I'm not... You know, I didn't... I'm not from L.A. and came here just for, like, this show. Yeah, like, you were no. one of our only New York yeah. actors. So, yeah. So, somebody used my phone number somehow. I don't understand how. To spend $60 on the Sony PlayStation Store... But, the, but they used my phone number and it billed our phone bill. So I don't know how this happened. So last night I was on the phone with them for like two hours after buying my opening night outfit. Yes. Uh, concerned and w worried that someone was stealing my identity. Somebody was doing this and that. We still don't know why it happened. So Broadway.com viewers, if you have any expertise in this, please let me know why someone would have been able to use my phone number to buy a PlayStation thing. I have two questions. Yes. The first is, what game did they buy? I don't know. They just added funds to their wallet. Oh. They're very vague. My second question is, are you sure, like, you didn't just get, like, 100%. a little drunk and, like, buy 100. something? I am a thousand percent. Who's a gamer and has your phone number? <laughs> <laughs> but you have more money than me. <laughs> I real. do, don't I? <laughs> um. <laughs> so today, I was on my way to rehearsal, um, just waiting at my subway stop. So I'm just sitting here checking the time, like, as the train's coming. And, and mm -hmm. so some man, an older man, like 75, just comes up to me and full on, like, this is me, he just goes and slaps my phone out of my hand directly down to the subway tracks. I turn and look at this man, and I'm just like, he stares me in the eyes and walks out. He gave no reason. He didn't explain God. himself. He didn't even say like, I hate you, I don't like your face, nothing. So I asked the MTA guy if they had like a pooper scooper or some like a claw. Which you'd think you'd by think, now. It's 2015, people drop their phones. Yeah. Um, he, so he was like, yeah, yeah, we can get it for you. I'm like, amazing, let's do it. He said, yeah, it's gonna take an hour and a half. Because apparently to do this, they have to call in a special person to climb down there, they have to stop the subway, and they have to do all this garbage. So I didn't know what to do, so naturally I like cried a little bit. And then I went, um, I came to rehearsal. I used a laptop here to inform my next of kin that, that I was not to be reached. And then in between rehearsal I went back up and then they had got it and they had left it there. So I got it back. But then I gave it a, 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 like a bath in hand sanitizer because yeah, you know a rat sick. used the bathroom on my phone. Yeah, absolutely. Or like used, you know, Yelp. Oh, Man, God. you're going through it. Mercury is in retrograde. But hey, guess what? What? You're opening a Broadway show this weekend. <laughs> Indeed. Right. Indeed. Indeed. Um, we are. And a pretty good one at that. So, I think you know, maybe good. this is the last of your, like, karmic payout, just sort of like, you know, it's like your soul taking a dump before, like, it eats a big meal of joy. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> um, Alex, do you have any pre-show rituals? I like to get there a bit early, um, earlier than I have in previous shows that I've worked on, just because, um, not to be like really actory about it, but like I like to be there early to kind of get back into into a world with my friends who are deaf, because you know throughout most of the day, I, if unless I'm hanging out with these guys, I really probably won't encounter a deaf person. So it's really good for me to, you know, get to the room, maybe take a little nap. Um, you know, then Miles, Josh, the other two boys we share a dressing room with, and Daniel show up, and then, you know, I'm watching them sign, I'm signing with them, and it kind of just, like, brings me back into a world that is still new to me, and it, it um, helps me kind of just get our two worlds, you know, meet in the middle and kind of remember what this story is about and how to, how to tell it, I think. Mm. Literally a musical theater performer, but, <laughs> but I'm, you know, you're not going to see me getting cast in, you're not going to see me getting cast in, like, you know, uh, the Music Man. That's not what I'm gonna. Right. That's not who I am. Rogers and Hammerstein is not what you're going no. for. Richard Sherman. Unless we're doing some for. gritty reboot where everybody dies, at the end. <laughs> then they'll, they'll they'll find a, they'll find a spot for me at the end of that one. Emo but, Music uh, Man. That's what. <laughs> yeah, 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 dude. Yeah, dude. Um, Alex steals Andrew's shoes. <gasps> no.
Someone stealing Andrew's you Kermit shoes. You can't say shoes. I steal shoes. <laughs> Nobody knows who you are, Alex. <laughs> Andrew is worried about his Kermit shoes. Yo, that looks like a dime bag of weed. <laughs> Kermit gives money to Andrew <laughs> Bartholomew Feldman. Stop saying Bartholomew. <laughs> It's my fucking, that's my, like, color shirt that I wear and everything. <laughs> it's really funny, just Kermit, like, not sounding like Kermit anymore and being like, take it, boy. Like, <laughs> do, uh, do, uh, do she used to be mine? Why would you say that? Because I'm trying to pick things that when I say them, everyone's going to say, oh, wait, do that. And then you have to do it. Um, thank you, uh, thank you, Kelsey, for buying a ticket. Um, yeah, I'll do uh, it. I've done it before. There's a video of me doing it on the internet. Then I don't care. Don't do it. Um, guys, I it's Alex's first day. On stage. That's not true. I've been here for so long. Somebody, <laughs> um, Finley says. Uh, resubs and says resub day for me already. Time flies. Also, I miss Spring Awakening. I miss Spring Awakening always. Um, such a shame that I didn't play Moritz and I only played guitar. Um, About representation in that film. <laughs> Andrew, you really wow. I didn't expect such hard hitting, <laughs> hard hitting journalism in my dressing room uh, at 6:03 p.m. But here we are. Uh, I think that. Uh, were I to be, were my specific type of vampirism to be, uh, <laughs> to be represented in the media, I don't think it would be, I don't think it would be Twilight Vampire. I think I'd be more of like some sort of like, I'd be like some CW vampire, except they would hire someone better looking than me. To, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like, you know, you'd, you'd. Like a more gritty vampire, but like still really hot. But he would have 15 abs and be yeah. like 39 years old playing 17, but he like, Looks like he's never, like, stressed about anything in his entire life because his skin will be really, like, lifted and nice, you know what I mean? Yeah. Great um, answer. I want you to sing Tell Him by Celine Dion and Barbara Streisand. I simply do not know it. Are you kidding? Yeah, I don't know that song. You have to, well, you have homework. Okay. <laughs> you gotta. It's impossible to believe. I'll listen the story, to it. The storyline of the song is Celine Dion doesn't know how to tell a man she loves him. And Barbara Streisand is like... I got you. You know what I mean? She's like, tell him. You know? That's just tell her. That's Billy Joel. Tell her about it. Yeah, but it's not Celine Dion or Barbara Streisand. It's an excellent point. Um... Jeremy. Love that pad. Oh, uh, you is it I'll, I'll send you on your way? Yeah, I know. Uh, I just want to wish you knew how Oh, how much you suck. And then you go into the kind of rock section. We really got to help you build some uh, better guitar tones, Andrew. Now, I did this on purpose. This sounds like a keyboard playing an electric guitar. That's what it is. Oh. And he says, read this. Uh, according to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. <laughs> this is not good. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. <laughs> um, the French bee movie. <laughs> Alex Boniello. Hello, Andrew. You had nothing to do with this, I assume you'll say? Like, it sounds like you're, you're uh, it sounds like you're, What's the word here? You're coming for me. You think well, I just, no, I just, you know, I got to check all my bases and you're generally suspicious all the time. <laughs> While that's true, I think that this is one of the cases of like, yeah, I'm far too obvious of a... Oh, that's fair. Well, this all adds up. I, it seems like you're innocent. I, the only thing is I just need to know about the cup that says Dan's blood on it. That's on your, <laughs> that's on your 
station. That's a that's a totally. That's a, I get it. I see. Why do I you have that? That's a totally unrelated thing. I've actually just been saving that. Um, oh, there's a cold for, going around. So. Oh. Um, oh. Oh. Uh, you can